Hello, good morning. Good morning, beautiful people. Today is a beautiful Wednesday. Ah, uh, today God has ordained it for us to see this bright new day. And we are glad to come out this early to speak the word of God to his people so that they might get understanding. But I will be reading the book of Psalms because most times when you read the book of Psalms, it's like you praying to God. When you pray out your mind through Psalms, you see how God start affecting your life with the solution through the Psalms of prayer that you have prayed. So I will read Psalm 63 and I will be reading the Psalms chapter 63. Then I will be reading from verse 1 to the end. It says, O God, thou art my God, early will I seek thee. My soul thirsted for thee. My flesh longed for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is, to see thy power and thy glory, so as I have seen thee in the sanctuary. Three says, because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee while I live. I will lift up my hands in thy name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. When I remember thee upon my bed and meditate on thee in the night watches, because thou hast been my help, Thou hast been my help, therefore, in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul followeth hard after thee, thy right hand upholdeth me. But those that seek my soul to destroy it shall go into the lower parts of the earth. They shall fall by the sword. They shall be a portion for forces, but the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone that sweareth by him shall glory. But they, the mouth of them that speak lies shall be stopped. That is what the verse is trying to let us know about how you can fellowship with God's psalms to receive this joy of prayers in your heart. And this psalm is a psalm of David when he was in the desert. He prayed this prayer and God answered him when he was in the wilderness. So as you, if you pray this prayer, God will answer you anywhere you are. Anywhere you are hidden, anywhere you are in the wilderness, God will answer your prayer through the Psalms of prayer that we have read today. God has given us our mouth to speak his word. He has given us this verse to know how he remembers his children. When you meditate upon the word of God, you will see how God will open the way for you. When you meditate and pray this prayer, you will see how God will be refreshing you. You will see how God will be giving you ideas to go about your life. He will bless you. He will open your eyes to see things. He will open your eyes to know when evil is coming near you. So, Always be in an alert to know how God operates in your life. Have your own altar of prayer so that 
you have to continually pray. Pray and pray and you will see how God will be breaking bounds for you. You will be seeing how God will be destroying evil altars that is coming to destroy you. May the God of heaven bless you. Because in the last verse, he said, But the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone that sweareth by him shall glory. You see, you shall receive glory. And anyone that speak lies shall be stopped. Anyone that speaks lies shall be stopped. Such people are the enemies that come in form of and form of some come in form of friends, some come in form of um, to know how you are living, some come in form of monitoring you, some come in form of anything. These are such people that God will stop. God stops them from penetrating into your life because they are evil. When they come surrounding you, God destroys their bands out of your way. And that is why it is always good. You hold yourself and pray. When you pray hard, you see that God's miracle, God's blessing will continue to shield you, continue to protect you in the mighty name of Jesus. So have a wonderful and a blessed Wednesday today and receive God's word in good faith in Jesus' name. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Bye.